but do you accept that we have quite a lot of problems? You've got a very rosy view of the NHS. For example, we've long waiting lists for some treatments, some drugs are not available in some areas, we have hospitals that are very dirty, we have one of the highest rates of MRSA in Europe. Where, where, where? <laughs> what a bunch of whiners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, all kidding aside, uh, yes, you, uh, you have problems with your system. You have a lot of problems with your system. And, uh, uh, you, um, uh, and there's problems with the quality of the system. But for you as Brits to fix, uh, it's, I'm talking about the basic underlying value is that you as British citizens believe that you're all in the same boat and you have to take care of each other. And, and yes, there are flaws in the system, but that's only because you allowed Mrs. Thatcher to start uh, gutting your social services, uh, which she did a pretty decent job of doing, and then new labor uh, came along and uh, didn't really fix the, the problem. And, and, uh, and now they, they love to talk about privatization and private insurance and all this private stuff. Let's go the American way, because Mr. Blair is so enamored with the American way. Uh, and now it's up to Mr. Gordon, I guess, to see whether or not he, uh, Mr. Brown, whether or not he's going to uh, uh, change things. There was one part in your film where you took some Americans to Cuba for treatment. Now, I've been in the healthcare system in Cuba. I've seen that they locked yeah. up AIDS patients to stop them from passing on the disease to other people. There's some very nasty things in the Cuban healthcare system. Yeah, and there's some things about Britain that are really nasty. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you lock up Irish people without giving them a trial. Uh, does that mean your system should just be thrown out or ignored, or, or let's say you don't have a democracy? I know we wouldn't do that, would we? I mean, all these systems have their flaws and have their problems. And what's amazing about Cuba is that here's a very poor third world country, 90 miles from our shores, and yet they're still willing to guarantee uh, that everybody who needs to see a doctor can see a doctor. And again, another country, uh, that has a longer life expectancy, a better infant mortality rate than we do here in the richest country on